Hello viewers, welcome to online classes day 28. Let us uh, recapitulate the last session. In the part of uh, human circulatory system, in last session we discussed about conducting system of human heart. In what way the impulse to be generated and in what way such impulse propagated which mediates heart contraction which initiates heart beat and mediates heart contraction so that thing we learned in last class that is conducting system of heart you observe this one so in which we learn about sino auricular note and then auriculoventricular note and his bundle and Purkinje fibers and generation of action potential and its propagation path we completed. Alright? Yes, today we are going to very interesting topic that is cardiac cycle. Alright? The heart is a pumping organ which pumps the blood into blood vessels. For that purpose it requires contraction and relaxation. Hence the wall of heart uh, contain cardiac musculature that exhibit arrhythmic contraction and relaxation. Followed. So the heart shows rhythmic contraction and relaxations like this you observe this uh, visual so this uh, representation clearly illustrates that uh, the rhythmic action of the heart in what way the heart shows pulsatile pulsatile movement and next uh, in what way the heart going to pump the blood into blood vessels follow right the cardiac cycle is nothing but the events that occur from beginning of one heartbeat to subsequent heartbeat called cardiac cycle. The series of events or takes place during cardiac cycle. In this phenomena, whatever events to be occur from beginning of one heartbeat to subsequent heartbeat called what? Cardiac cycle. Follow up. So, the cardiac cycle include one cycle of contraction and uh, relaxation. Follow? So, it include one cycle of contraction and relaxation. Remember student, the cardiac cycle include one cycle of contraction and relaxation. The cardiac cycle include uh, contraction phase and relaxation, relaxation cycle so the contraction of the heart technically called IC store remember very very important the contraction of the heart called what C store the relaxation of heart technically called diastole follow very very important ask me entrance examination what is systole? The systole is nothing but contraction of the heart. Technical remedies. And the relaxation of the heart called what? Diastole. Follow? So systole and diastole. So one cardiac cycle include one systole and one diastole. Right? Next, uh, the cardiac cycle comprises three phases it includes three phases it lasts in three phases they are sequently atrial systole ventricular systole and next uh, cardiac diastole otherwise complete diastole otherwise joint diastole remember the cardiac cycle 
comprises three phases. They are atrial systole, ventricular systole and cardiac diastole. Otherwise, it also called complete diastole. Otherwise, joint diastole. Remember, these three phases are sequently occurs in the cardiac cycle phenomena. Right? So, if we observe our human heartbeat, it is very familiar thing. Everyone knows that the human heart beats about 72 times per minute. A healthy person, adult person, human heart beats 72 times per minute. Of course, the heartbeat rate different in children, in infants it is more high and in old person it is less. In adult person, in healthy man, the human heart beats 72 times per minute. Follow? Right. Next, the single heart beat duration is about 0.8 seconds. Remember, a single heart beat can complete in the duration of 0.8 seconds. Correct? Correct. The cardiac cycle lasts about 0.8 seconds, but the cardiac cycle includes three phases. So, they are atrial systole, ventricular systole and joint diastole. So, if we observe their duration, the atrial systole lasts about uh, 0.1 second. Follow. So, it is uh, individual duration, remember, the atrial systole lasts about 0.1 seconds and uh, ventricular systole lasts about uh, 0.3 seconds and the joint diastole lasts about 0.4 seconds altogether. You have to calculate total 0.8 seconds. So, the cardiac cycle finishes in the duration of 0.8 seconds among them the atrial systole in 0.1 second and ventricular systole about 0.3 and joint diastole about 0.4 second follow right you observe the pie chart represents the contribution the duration of a cardiac cycle so the first one you observe the blue color uh, part blue color blue color part represents atrial systole 0.15 second and next uh, the black color part represents ventricular systole 0.3 second and pink color portion represents joint diastole Followed? Right. Next, the left atria receives oxygenated blood from the lungs. Already we discussed in last class, the left atria receives oxygenated blood from the lungs. In the same way, the right atria receives deoxygenated blood from various parts of the body through superior vena cava and inferior vena cava follow so at atria are receiving chambers left atria receives oxygenated blood and right atria receives deoxygenated blood follow next S such blood by opening of bicuspid and uh, tricuspid walls automatically it rushes into ventricle ventricles during relaxed state so now first what happens the sinoauricular node generates action potential that is required to initiate heartbeat so the sinoauricular node it is a pacemaker primary pacemaker present in the wall of right atrium at upper corner so this sinoatrial node generates what action potential and that promotes atrial contraction 
which leads to atrial system so after generating action potential such action potential transmitted all over the spread all over the wall of atria and immediately the cardiac musculature of atria get contraction that leads to atrial systole so two chambers left atria and right atria simultaneously undergoes contraction that is called what atrial systole in this core the whatever blood present in this atrial chamber that to be pumped into a respective ventricle through atrioventricular apertures you observe in what way the impulse spread in the atrial wall followed and next uh, the pumping phenomena of blood from atria to ventricles you observe so the bicuspid and tricuspid valves open and the oxygenated blood from left atria pumped into left ventricle you observe red color mark and uh, the deoxygenated blood from right atria pumped into right ventricle blue color mark for it so next uh, we will see one more visual representation for atrial systole in what way the bicuspid tricuspid valve going to open and pumping the blood phenomena right so this is atrial systole so the atrial systole promotes what pumping of the blood from atria to ventricle right right next if we observe the atrial systole it contributes only 30% filling of the ventricle remember only it contributes 30% what about remaining 70% whenever heart in relaxed state attained joint diastole condition in that condition already the 70% of blood filled into ventricle so the remaining 70% filling of the ventricle to be achieved during joint diastole at a time of relaxed state so the atrial systole contributes only 30% you remember that thing correct next uh, the contraction of blood filling I'm sorry uh, the contribution of blood filling in ventricle pie chart let us see you observe 30% filling by atrial systole and 70% filling by joint diastole so the major amount of blood fill into ventricle by joint diastole follow right next step the second phase of cardiac cycle that is ventricular systole the action potential from sinoauricular node reaches the avn it is second pacemaker ectopic pacemaker pace setter relay point relay station and from avn it passes into his bundle then into purkinje fibers and ultimately such action potential transmitted all over the ventricular musculature which initiates the contraction of ventricular musculature by which the ventricles undergoes contraction so the ventricular systole now begins yes you observe in what way the impulse spread all over the wall of ventricle let us see visual representation right next what happens due to the ventricular systole during ventricular systole now what happened the blood from ventricle pumped into the respective aorta by opening their semilunar valves present at their base so whenever the ventricular whenever the ventricle undergoes contraction at that time 
the intraventricular pressure increases by which automatically the bicuspid and tricuspid valve closes. Then semilunar valves present at the base of aorta. What are aorta? From left ventricle systemic aorta arise, from right ventricle pulmonary aorta arise and their base three semilunar valves are there. Already we learned. Now these three semilunar valves are open and now the ventricle pumps the blood into aorta. So let right you observe this visual representation in what way the blood going to pump from ventricle to aorta the blue color deoxygenated blood red color oxygenated blood from left ventricle deoxygenated blood from right ventricle to pulmonary aorta alert we observe one more visual representation the deoxygenated blood into pulmonary aorta you observe arrows that is the way next oxygenated blood you observe arrow from left ventricle to systemic aorta all right so that is the part of ventricular system blood pumping path the ventricular system raises the intraventricular pressure by which what happens the bicuspid and tricuspid walls to be closes why because if they doesn't close what happens the blood may reversely pump again into atria so to avoid that phenomena immediately the atrioventricular walls to be closes mitral wall and tricuspid wall to be closes during this time we found we noticed a sound that is first heard sound it is lab okay so the first heard sound is what lab the lab sound produces during ventricular systole at the time of ventricular systole it to be produced and at the time of closure of bicuspid valve and tricuspid valve it produces Right? So it is first heard sound. That is the love sound the origin phenomena. When love sound to be arise during ventricular systole at the time of closure of bicuspid and tricuspid wall. It is very very important student to ask in entrance examinations. Alright, right. next. The ventricular diastole, let us see the third phase of cardiac cycle that is ventricular diastole. It is also called joint diastole or common diastole. It results in relaxation of ventricle. So at the time of ventricular systole already the atria attain relaxation. So now the ventricle is going to relax so it is complete diastole it is the relaxation of ventricle follow it uh, lowers the intraventricular pressure so systole increases the intraventricular pressure but the diastole lowers the intraventricular pressure that's why what happens whatever blood pumped into aorta it may return back into ventricle that cause may occur. So, to avoid that phenomena, whenever the ventricular pressure lower, immediately the semilunar walls present at the base of the aorta to be closes. So, this phenomena favors what thing? Closure of semilunar walls of aorta. Correct? Now, the Closure of semilunar walls creates one more sound in the core of cardiac cycle that is considered as second heart sound. 
that is done right so the closure of semi lunar wall prevents back flow of the blood remember from aorta to again into ventricle it prevents the reversal flow of the blood so when the ventricular when semi lunar walls closes the second heard sound produced up let us see the tap sound produces during at what time during joint diastole it up arise and uh, at the time of closure of semi lunar walls that present at the base of aorta gave rise second heard sound that is tap lap tap lap tap okay the heard sounds during heart beat the characteristic sounds to be produced they called heart sounds the first heard sound is lap the second heard sound is da alright let us see the how we able to hear the heard sound the heard sounds to be hear by using a device that is called stethoscope alright that's it the same manner suppose if we place our ear towards left side of chest also we able to hear it, the heard sound so with clearly by using this device stethoscope we can hear the heard sounds loved up for that you remember this thing right next let us see the differences between two heart sounds the first heard sound is lab and second one is da let us see the differences between lab and da so the lab sound is primary sound first heard sound and it is a low pitch sound and dull sound extended longer duration about 0.15 seconds remember these are the characteristic features of first heard sound for it so the love sound is a first heard sound low pitched sound dull sound extends longer duration about 0.15 second what about dub the dub is second heard sound and uh, high pitched sound and sharper sound louder sound alright it is very sharper sound and extends lesser duration shorter duration about uh, point 0.1 second alright that is the difference so these are the converse features between heard sounds the first sound and second sound all right right next you observe this pie chart the lab contribution point 15 seconds and lab contribution point 1 second all right so lab contribution is higher than ta extended duration that is duration of heard sound lab extended duration is more then what da fallet this is da next we are going to discuss about what happens after completion cardiac cycle so we finished three phases of cardiac cycle at atrial systole ventricular systole and then joint diastole in atrial systole the blood from atria pumped into ventricles and then in ventricular systole the blood from ventricles pumped into respective aorta and afterward the heart chambers attain relaxation that is called complete diastole or joint diastole for what happens after completion it is a single cycle okay 
after completion this single cardiac cycle the same phenomena to be extended vice versa follow the subsequent cardiac cycle takes place in the same manner the subsequent cardiac cycles to be extended vice versa by which continuously the heart going to pump blood into blood vessels follow you observe this visual representation so first atrial systole ventricular systole joint diastole repeated vice versa you observe this visual representation in what way the blood going to pump blood going to pump into the heart you observe this visual correct right you observe arrow marks so that is oxygenated blood pumping phenomena and next with this uh, we completed so this is pumping phenomena correct so with this we completed the mechanism of cardiac cycle correct in next session we are going to discuss about cardiac output blood pressure and double circulation phenomena follow thank you